This is Daily Gold, let us begin. Okay, so when it comes towards this episode of Daily Gold, what have we actually done? Well, I did this, I was working on the armory. Now, when it comes towards the armory, I pretty much beelined it all the way straight to Herod and tried to gather up all of the mobs in the little courtyard-esque area first and then just burning them down at the end with Herod. This just seemed to be the most easiest way in order to farm this up and as I go through I just tagged everyone and just carried on with that. A great thing actually did happen when I was farming this one up for the raw data for Worth It and I actually managed to do, 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 open up Worth It. I actually managed to get a hold of a nice little chunky item as this one came up to around about 75,000 gold. Now this is of course because of one clear item, which is the Steel Claw Reaver going for around about 65,000 gold. That added up quite nicely. I also got another Watchman Pauldrons on the off of all of the other little nits and bits. And yes, and yes, more Scarlet Belts came inside with that as well as all of everything else. Overall, it actually turned out to be a good, decent little gold farm. However, when we're going to be placing this inside of Worth It, I'm going to have to le leave the Steel Claw off of data collection. As a few other people actually farmed this yesterday, they didn't get the Steel Claw. So that will be a notable item that can drop from that area. More testing will be needed, and if anyone wants to farm that one up even more, then please feel free to go in towards Worth It. You can always shortcut by doing a shift click to open up your recorder, and then you can go from there. Or, failing that, you can always just go into My Farms, go into Tools, and then go to Recorder as well. You can also export this by I need to actually explain this to everyone because I got a question about this quite a lot. If you go to this part, not the plus icon, but these lines, it will give you a little drop down to export. That's how you can export your gold farm data to share to anyone else. It's just an easier method in order to do and it's very helpful especially when you go to your tools and then you can go to import where you can import someone else's gold farm as well as all of that. Everything else is uh, pretty much a non sequitur on this one. The Scarlet Armory actually turned out quite nicely with 75k's worth of value from this. Now, if we actually jump towards how we actually go towards our mailbox, we can have a look at our mailbox. We have a do do do. We have 40 gold, zeroed it off to 10 gold. Not necessarily, uh, not necessarily zero gold but we got 40 gold anyway so but we're up to 50 gold right now now jumping into wards our brutosaur that's pretty much all said and done we can have a look at our auction house so all of the things that we actually farmed up with our two scarlet belts we've got our s silver thread we've still got our steel claw reaver 70,000 gold on the auction house with the watchman's pauldrons that's going to add up quite nicely and it comes to a nice posted auction of 83,918 gold on the auction house with nine auctions already on there i'm going for the higher ticket stuff or a little bit more fast selling stuff it really does depend and recipes will be sold on the auction house flat on the auction house as well as all of that and overall we want to scale it that way with the old versions of Scarlet Armory and also uh, and also Scarlet Monastery of old is well now completed we've got to now do the original ones which is things like the old school transmog ones of the Scarlet Monastery and we've got to actually farm up the Scarlet Halls as well because we've got things like the head splitter, we've got Scarlet Boots, Sunblaze Coif, the uh, Cobalt Crusher, we've got all of these different types of items to farm up and then add into the add-on as well. Obviously a lot of this data is very old and redundant and the way we actually originally did it came out a bit skew with, hence why the dead mines keeps coming up with very high values for a for everything else and 
we're just going to do a complete reset on this entire module for transmog and we're going to actually break it up quite nicely into its respective areas so when we go in towards our instances transmog it will want to cover all of the dungeons and that's exactly what we're going to be doing so i constructed a nice little dungeon worth it data list uh, up yesterday of all the different types of things that we actually need to farm up i've posted my uh, exports in here so when it comes towards application into the add-on as well so we've got that all set up we've got some other bits that Jin sent me over yesterday because he has a lovely a very much nicer spreadsheet than myself and uh, is pretty much on top of it um, we've got our group transmog gold farms which uh, Bunny and Jin are pretty much headhunting that stuff and it's mainly for uh, group transmog gold farms like open world gold farms we also do material based ones as well and that can be found within the actual discord the other th different things with for solo is the reputations module which at the moment we do have uh, four out of quite a lot of them for that one to be actually done and then skinning is the primal tiger leather i'm definitely going to have to jump my way over to that one eventually all in all everything's working out quite well it's just <laughs> get going keep going trying to grab all of this data another thing is i just did an update on the aldora game where you there is a link in the description down below where i actually constructed more of the farming elements and an iron chest plate for my character so it's pretty cool other than that please feel free to go towards the discord if you have any other questions or if you want anything helped with or anything to that effect have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video which will be soon. Mm -hmm.